Hey guys, it's Tom here from Crypto Life Inc. again. So today we're going to talk about EOS. So I'm going to quickly show you how to get your EOS tokens onto your Ethereum wallet. Um, and then you can register for the EOS DAC airdrop. So you can still do that manually by the 15th of May. So we'll show you how to do all that. Then we'll have a look at the price of EOS and you know where it's going to end up. So tune in guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, so hopefully I have all the information I need here and um, let's just jump right into it. So um, I'm actually looking at a few different charts here on EOS, but let's just jump into the EOS DAC. So this is the airdrop that's happening. Um, a lot of people are pretty bullish on this um, and they are going to be a block producer and a decentralized community. So you can have a look at their website. They've actually released a roadmap. So this is just an update to my previous video. And I'll leave that at, in a link in the description or at the end of this video so you can have a look at that. Um, but we can see that EOS DAC is, what are they planning on doing? Um, 2018, January, they are going to test the EOS community test net. Uh, launching, okay, well this has already been done, I'm assuming. Uh, EOS snapshot, so that has happened. Um, the airdrop. So airdrop is 75%. Now, is it saying it's that's complete? I'm not actually sure. Okay, here. So it's going to be completed in May. So just be aware of that. I did say once I do the airdrop, you might see a lot of people selling their EOS because they're getting the free tokens. So here is a timeline. They haven't exactly put a date there, but I'll probably be looking at the 15th of May because that is when the last, that's the last day that you can manually register your EOS tokens to be a part of this airdrop. So now we're going to take a look at how you go about moving your tokens onto an Ethereum wallet. All right, so for the purposes of this video, we're going to teach you how to move your EOS tokens onto the My Ethereum wallet uh, or MU wallet for uh, Ether and ERC20 tokens. Um, so basically, what you want to do is go into the back end of your exchange. So you want to find the EOS token um, wallet and then you want to uh, go in and click withdrawals. So there they will ask you for the address, the account address and what you want to put is this address. This is your Ethereum address. Uh, you should make sure that you have registered uh, for EOS. So it's linked to the EOS um, registration so that way that they are recognized as EOS token. So I've already done that and uh, that's in a separate tutorial. Um, so you guys can do your own research there, but uh, yeah, you want this address, then you want to send it to here. So once you get it to here, then you can manually register your EOS uh, tokens with the EOS DAC um, to get their airdrop. So basically you go onto their website, you click on tokens, and then you get to this page here. Um, so this will be manual registration up to the 15th of May. So you want to just copy and paste your Ethereum address right here. So that's the one I just showed you in the My Ether wallet. So you just want to paste it. Once you paste it in, you just click submit. You can see how many people have already done it, and it will just come up with if it's set, if your Ethereum wallet is set up correctly, it'll show you how many EOS tokens you have, um, and you should get the airdrop at a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, so that's how you do it and then to send your EOS tokens back, which is what I've been testing out the last couple of days Basically you go into send ether and tokens and then you just click EOS here So this is on my ETH wallet again You put in the address of your Binance deposit address or whatever exchange you're using for the particular token in this case It's EOS then you generate the transaction. So this will come up. You got a raw transaction assigned transaction You want to click send transaction there and then you will get this pop up here. So this is just the EOS token address. So this is uh, every single address. So every single token about for EOS will go through this address. Um, this is just my public Ethereum address here. Um, and then I want to send, you know, uh, I'm sending one EOS token and I'm gonna send it to my Binance address. And then I just click, yes, I am sure, make transaction. And it will pop up, a little green pop up will come up at the bottom of the page. And you'll have a tracking uh, number there. It'll just be a tracking address and then you can look at 
you know, where your tokens have gone and track when they're going to arrive. So that is pretty much how you move your EOS tokens from your exchanges and then to an Ethereum wallet and then move them back again and also how to manually register for this EOS DAC airdrop. So hopefully that clears the air with you guys and we'll just take a quick look at the charts for a quick analysis before I head off. So um, I've been looking, let's just look at Bitcoin real quick and then we'll look at EOS. So Bitcoin has done some crazy stuff. I've been trading Bitcoin. I just got stuck in a trade in EOS actually. But um, that's fine because I traded it back into Bitcoin. Anyways, uh, let's let's have a look at this. So we started um, started our bounce here when we had that thousand dollar rise up. So this just literally went from six thousand eight hundred to seven thousand eight hundred, uh, pretty much in a four in a four hour time frame right there, and it just exploded. So this was the start of our bull run. Then we saw some nice continuation. So a lot of strength for the bulls. We were able to hold the uh, four hour high lows until we got to here. And then we were able to reestablish um, another bull run right here. Whoops, I'm moving stuff around. Um, yeah, so this is the trade that I've traded this morning anyway, and I posted an article on Steemit about it. So I'll leave that in the description. Um, but basically, what we had was an ascending triangle, I think. Well, I mean, this is also an equilibrium pattern as well, um, but you can see it also forms a triangle. Whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter. Uh, basically, the lines that I was looking for was this line here. So I entered a position as soon as we broke this top line just to be safe. I could have easily entered here and I explained on my blog, but um, I didn't want to take the risk just in case because we, because we had a a lot of momentum going upwards and um, we were a little bit overdue for a consolidation in my opinion but we saw a nice break and I was able to capitalize so I had an entry around this mark so the 9050 mark and then I exited shortly over here but we are still seeing some continuation uh, to my surprise um, as we were able to break this 9200 uh, level of resistance so that is a very bullish sign for Bitcoin and if we look at the smaller time frames, we can see, again, we had that triangle, just a smaller one. If we look at the 15 minute, it's a bit more clear. Had that smaller one, and we just had a push up, but looks like we just got rejected straight back down again. Uh, so this is all happening in real time. This is good news for me, because I got stuck in an EOS BTC trade, um, and I'm just waiting for the levels to go back down again. So I'll explain why I was pissed off about that trade in a second, but here we go. Let's have a look at EOS's, uh, EOS prices. I don't think you can say EOS's as a plural. It doesn't really uh, sound that right. So here we go. Um, just go on the daily chart for a snapshot view of it. So we can see um, our high is around $19 for EOS. We had that pullback, and now we're just literally going vertical. So this is, I mean, I've been posting about this, I think, about a week and a half ago. So it moon 47% in one day. I mean, this is pretty substantial as well. This is about, it's almost a 100% move from this, this mark here, uh, the 780 cent mark to almost $14. Um, but we should see some pullback soon because this, it, you can't just go this high up without pulling back at all. It's, it's pretty unclear for me where the resistance levels are because you can see, I mean, apart from this, apart from here at around $15, doesn't really seem to be any clear levels for EOS so you know that's probably my, the next mark I'll be watching for and then if we get a pullback I'm watching for the $11 mark so it's gonna you know range somewhere within there in my opinion if we break 15 I'd be pretty surprised um, just because we're so overextended on the daily chart we hit 81 on the so 82 on the RSI so definitely overdue for some sort of consolidation where it's whether it's going to be like this and form a bull flag or just a brief uh, candlestick or a more severe consolidation on the daily and um, because it's definitely overdue on the daily chart anyway so that is my analysis of EOS and everything so hopefully that's helped you guys out with the EOS airdrop uh, so EOS DAC airdrop at least and um, I'll leave all the articles in the description we've got that free Facebook group so if you guys want to have a chat with any of the members in there uh, I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can join and feel free to like and subscribe if you want more 
updates on EOS and the crypto market in general. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm Tom from Crypto Life Inc. Peace.